If you want to see how I did this Beyonce homecoming inspired look and a review of Beyonce's homecoming Coachella performance, Baychella, stay tuned. So, we are here to talk about Beyonce's homecoming, Baychella, the experience that was Coachella 2018 with Beyonce performing. And we're going to do a little recreation. So I'm going to try to recreate her um, look. So with the Peter Thomas Roth Hydroluronic Cloud Hydrating Toner Mist. Um, this stuff is really great for just adding moisture to your face. So I'm going to start with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I got a sample of it from Sephora. I don't know if I want to buy it yet, so I'm going to going to try it out. Um, so let's just get right on into it, right? Beyonce's Coachella performance. First off, I don't know anyone that was not just in awe of this performance. It was amazing. Um, when it originally aired <laughs> on YouTube, I definitely was one of the people that stayed up to in the morning uh, to watch it. It was uh, up in my room dancing on the original dance moves where Ashley and Kimmy talk because, you know, I, I, I know the dance moves, <laughs> um, but it was just an amazing experience. I literally was in my room like, oh my gosh, like this is amazing. This is sticky. Let's see how this does. Next up, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Chocolate. The reason why that performance was just super so iconic was her tribute to HBCUs, right? So I am a proud HBCU graduate. Um, I went to Bowie State University. Where my dogs at? I graduated in 2010. Um... And of course, I loved my HBCU experience. I talk to my friends all the time talking about why I want to go back. But going to an HBCU is like a whole different experience. Um, for those that have gone, you know, it's it's definitely like a home um, for students. I f if that's that's literally how you can explain it. Like the faculty feels like family. They're always making sure that you are on point. You're not messing up. Um, and so I really feel like there's just a different level of love when you go to an HBCU versus um, another institution. First off, that's why HBCUs are so amazing. Um, and for me, like most of you that have gone to HBCUs, you were probably influenced by a few things. One, maybe your parents, like my parents went to Morgan State University. The other one, of course, was Different World. We all know, like, that show made a whole generation of kids want to go to college. Um, and then also Drumline. <laughs> Drumline. Drumline is where I wanted to be a band dancer. Like, I just knew when I got to college I was going to be a band dancer. <laughs> That maybe that explains why I was up in my room thinking I was one of her background dancers. So next I'm going in with my soft, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Amande. <laughs> when we first saw that opening scene with her coming with that Nefertiti outfit, I was, but this is when I knew it was about to get real. When she started singing, lift every voice and sing. I was like, oh, no, throw the, throw the whole Coachella away. Can nobody compete? Like, did she just sing the National Black Anthem at Coachella? Girl, like, uh, I was in my room. I was like, this is about to be an amazing performance. Of course, I was in my room thinking I was one of her background singers when she was singing it. I was like, oh, my God, Beyonce, I this was about to be an epic night. It was just gonna be wonderful. I mean, and if you don't really understand why her performance was so epic, of course, it's it's the history of HBCUs. 
It's a history of, you know, black university. Well, let's start here. If you don't know what an HBCU is, it's a historically black college and university. Um, and they've been around for decades. And of course, the whole reason why they were even founded or instituted were was because we as people of color could not attend your normal universities, you know, your Harvard, your Yales. So we decided to, you know, say bye girl, we gonna start our own. <laughs> um, so that's why a lot of people take so much pride in HBCUs because they have an important history to our people. You know, when we couldn't learn anywhere else, we made sure that we still got our education. I think it was just the aspect of the live band, which is one of those things that when you go to a HBCU, especially when you go to homecoming, there is nothing like sitting up in the football stands, listening to your band just go off. A uh, energetic feeling that you get when you hear that band and then the crowd and you're at a basketball game or a football game, it's there's an energy that's nothing like it. So when she started performing her songs, along with like the live marching band and the and the dancers. It was like, okay, girl, what are we about to get into? Where are you taking us? Where are you taking us? I'm ready for the ride. I'm strapped in, let's go, okay? Like I was all the way here for it. And I love understanding why people did what they did essentially. Like what made you come up with this? What made you go take us here? What made you, what made you do the thing the way you did it, right? And so her being able to do the documentary was just amazing, awesome because it just took us on the the glimpse of her whole journey. And you know, we all know originally she was supposed to perform a year before and she got pregnant. Um, but then also see how human she was with her struggles of getting back to the stage, her insecurities of feeling like she would never be the same Beyonce, although we all know that she totally dispelled that whole fear in her. whole human fear of, like, will I ever be the same? Like, is this gonna work out? It's just, you, you have no choice but to respect her as an artist, period. Soft glam palette. Let me use a burnt orange. This is my Morphe M504 blending brush. So to like kind of see her whole transition of getting back to the stage, working back out, um, was just really cool because she's because she is such a private person. It was nice to kind of see, you know, her human side, of course, like what she deals with, how she gets back in shape. Now let's just talk about this Beyonce Beachella diet real quick okay that we all about to get on she said no meat no fish no carbs no sugar no alcohol no life okay basically just no life like what did you eat air like if it if it was air just let me know fine just write it down on the diet plan so i can know what to do so i need to get in shape okay i need to get in shape <laughs> like then she was talking about she'll be able to do rehearsal then soul cycle then some steps like what? <laughs> what? Like, are you human? Like, I don't, I don't even think you're human, ma'am. She definitely got in shape, and it was cool to kind of just see that transition of, you know, when she, she was on the heavier side, and you could see that she lost it naturally. Um. That it was just, you know, working out and eating eating right, basically. Sienna and Mulberry. Boop, boop. And then <clears throat> when we get down to Sorry, when she started performing Sorry, she started um, bringing more of the fraternal aspect into the performance with the frat. Um, the bugaboos. Bugaboo! <laughs> that was so cute. Um, the bugaboos. And, and the stepping, which of course is a long tradition for fraternities and sororities, but we all, you know, it started back in Africa as a form of dance. So that was just, I was like, oh my gosh, no, she didn't. 
No, she didn't just do a whole pledge line on stage and 50,000 people. I mean, only Beyonce. Only Beyonce can do that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to take the Hydra primer so we can put the glitter on. Let's just see how this works. Let's, let's just try it. I mean, I, we can do all things through Beyonce, right? And one of my favorite parts of this whole performance was party. When the girl came on with the twirling batons. Oh my gosh. And I love the whole vibe of party because I already love that song. I already love that song, but when they added the marching band to it, it was just like to another level. Desert Dust Palette. Most glittery um, pink lot eyeliner with cypress and un umbra and the soft glam palette to kind of just smoke out under my eye. So my favorite song on the entire Lemonade album was Don't Hurt Yourself. Now, she said, when you play me, you play yourself. So <laughs> that was like my favorite song on the album. So when she came out and performed that, that's the song I went off on because I was just so like, oh my God, that's my song. <laughs> and she performed... And then she even brought out Check Up On It. Like, she don't really ever perform Check Up On It. Like, that was a throwback. And I'm thankful that she did it because I used to love that song, too. Mm, that was my song. Then, of course, she did Run the World. And this was the part that made all of those that were watching just pause and give thanks. Now, I can't even lie to you. My first thought when I saw Destiny's Child came out, I said, Beyonce, you know you'd be the, like, OMG, like, your fans would love you forever if you brought out LaToya and Latavia. And I was hoping she would bring them out just because I know they, like, kind of, then they, like, squash their beef or something like that. But I was like, that would have been epic. Like, just... All of the members of Destiny's Child, all on the Coachella stage for the culture performance ever. Just bring back all Destiny's Child, like. So, <laughs> ours again. Soft um, matte concealer and biscuit this time. But also launch, forget me body. Another favorite. Now listen, because <laughs> get me body, like, so I'm I'm that friend, you know how you always have those friends where, you know, certain songs come on, everybody look to you to do the dance, it, that's me when it comes to Beyonce, especially get me bodied, okay, when she says ladies on the floor, that is my, that is my signal, and I go running, okay, <laughs> Um, but when she did get me body with Solange, it was so cute. Even on the second performance when, like, they fell, how they played it off, I really enjoyed it. Enjoy. It was just really fun. It showed that she didn't take it too, too serious, even though, you know, she was probably like, dang, I can't believe she fell. But, like, Beyonce, we all know Beyonce is, like, the master at recovering from a fall. So, I mean, it was cute. So now I'm just taking my RMCA translucent powder no color powder to set my under eye then and then and then we got a little special treat but before i let go you just performed the most epic cultural driven performance at coachella and then you're just gonna go ahead and Just go ahead and remake one of the, the most culturally popular cookout, wedding, graduation, you know, get black gathering song. And then killed it. Like, I mean, not that there was any doubt, but like, just like, mixed it together and it's, oh my God. It was just so, it was so Beyonce. It was so Beyonce. Like... <laughs> 
that was the whole Coachella performance. And then, of course, with the Homecoming documentary, we got the inside scoop of, you know, selecting the dancers and selecting the costumes. Um, and, like, you know, like I said earlier, how she got ready. Just the thought process that went into the whole show, the, sh the whole documentary, the whole everything it's just like she has a mind that's incredible murphy bronze tour and showmance i love the costumes like the beret and the you know one piece um suit i will say and it's so funny because as you can see in my room pink is my favorite color but i actually like the yellow outfits the yellow day better right so i like the yellow outfits more um um the transitions like she had some of the most craziest transitions and songs that she used to move from one another like i was like oh we just gonna throw that whole back that thing up back that thing up like juvenile we just oh, okay all right that part and ours um dual bronzer but i'm just gonna be using the orgasm did she give us the whole coachella performance on netflix where we can now watch it over and over and over like like i have then she released the live album on Spotify. And then she released Lemonade on Spotify. And then she released the unreleased version of Sorry on Spotify. And then she released the whole choreographed version of Formation. So, I mean, if you hadn't learned it already, I mean, you could watch it and learn the choreography and catch up with everybody. I mean, come on. Like, she just, just like that whole, like this whole week has just been like, I cannot believe. Thank you, Beyonce. Thank you. Like, it's just like, girl, like you just, ugh. You just made my whole, my whole week. Now, like, I mean, and if you're anything like me, I definitely have been listening to that uh, live album every single day. Take my NYX lingerie beauty mark because she, uh, her lip was, you know, it was, all down here was very natural. It was more about the glitter on her eyes. Highlighter. So I'm just going to take my Fenty highlighter and Hustler Baby. is an amazing creator her mind is just on a whole different level the way she conceptualized this whole theme of you know the hbcu love and the pride it, there's no one like her and she has an amazing mind and she's a, an amazing visionary so this performance gave me all the feels I definitely cannot wait because I do think she's going to release the Formation Tour on DVD, which <sighs> I hope so. And I really am excited for this whole Ivy Park Adidas collaboration because I've been wanting to get some stuff from Ivy Park lately, especially in the like documentary. She had this really cool baseball cap, but like the outside was gone like for people with curly hair. So I really wanted that. And then of course, like, you know, the cute little shirts. So I am so excited. She has made our April, <laughs> it, you know, it's just, she's amazing. We love you, Beyonce. You're so wonderful to us. So there you have it. This is my Coachella Beyonce homecoming inspired look. You know, I had to represent. We talking about homecoming. I have to represent. Hope you guys like it. You and let me know what was your favorite part of Coachella, of the homecoming documentary. 
Like, let's talk. Put down in the comments below what was your favorite part. Also, I hope you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.